Okay, we're now going to look at dividing fractions by an integer. Remember, an integer is a positive number. So we use a method of KFC to do this. The K stands for keep, the F stands for flip, and the C stands for change. So the first thing I'm going to do, just like when multiplying a fraction, is I'm going to change my integer so that it's now a fraction. We always give it a denominator of one. So the first thing I'm going to do is keep, and you always keep the original fraction, which in this case is one eighth, one eighth. I then change the operation that I'm doing, and I'm going to use the inverse of division, which I know is multiplication. And then finally, I need to flip. And this means I am flipping my fraction of two over one so my denominator now becomes my numerator and my numerator now becomes my denominator. So I'm now looking at one eighth multiplied by one half. And we know when multiplying fractions by fractions, we multiply the two numerators and the two denominators. So one times one is one and eight times two is 16. So I know that one eighth divided by two is one sixteenth. Now I'm going to look at 5 6 divided by 3. So I'm going to turn my integer, which is 3, into a fraction. And the first thing I'm going to do is keep. So my original fraction is 5 6. I change the operation. Remember, we're using the inverse, so we're looking at multiplication. And I flip that final fraction. So my denominator becomes my numerator and my numerator becomes my denominator. So I'm now looking at 5 6 multiplied by 1 third. 5 times 1 is 5, and 6 times 3 is 18. So we know that 5 6 divided by 3 is 5 18 Finally, we're going to look at 3 fifths divided by 2. So turn that integer into a fraction. You keep your original, which in this case is 3 fifths. I change my operation, so it's going to become multiplication. And I flip my final fraction. So my denominator becomes my numerator, and my numerator becomes my denominator. So we're looking at 3 fifths times 1 half. Remember, multiply your numerators together and multiply your denominators. So 3 times 1 is 3, and 5 times 2 is 10. So I know that 3 fifths divided by 2 is 3 tenths.